Okay, I am going to film this one, go for my walk run, think about what I said, what's in the video, and if, I, if I'm okay with it, then I'll post this video. So, I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, it's my YouTube channel Tannis Leonardi, I'm filming this Saturday, 3 February 2024. Here I talk through the Thomas Heilman 200-yard butterfly race at the 2023 United States Winter Junior National Swimming Championships East Edition in Columbus, Ohio, United States of America. A time of 1 minute and 40.73 seconds in the final on Saturday 9 December 2023. With his time, he achieved a personal best time. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of it being his second personal best time in a contested individual event in a less than four hour time period. So he swam, he swam good, he swam fast, did personal best time, 200 yard butterfly, and um... It was a time improvement of 0 0.13 seconds from his personal best time before this, which was 1 minute 40.86 seconds. So went from 0.86 to 0.73, still 140. And then before this race, he did a personal best time of 42.00 seconds in the 100 yard freestyle, which was a time drop of 0 0.61 seconds. So more time drop, shorter distance, half the distance. So um yes so 0. 0.61 seconds per 100 yards instead of 0. 0.065 seconds per 100 yards for the 200 yard butterfly um and the, so his personal best time before that one was a 42.61 seconds so this is i've chose i chose this one i it's not um so i created his english wikipedia article uh new page kind of thing uh for the article and not the not the talk page the article page and um some of the guys i knew in swimming they would like to follow swimming and they liked it when people put stuff out there about themselves so i don't know if he watches this youtube channel per the temperament of male swimmers that i've known in the past he might right like look the person who made my page used their real name and they have a youtube channel and they write a lot about or they write did write a lot about uh swimming on a wikipedia i can like watch it and be like that's the person who made my page can you say that not with that date stamp you know, that kind of, okay um so for all i know uh he watches it i don't know um so like did he copy me you know i did uh, two personal best times in the one mile run within a four hour period on 15 slash 16 july 2023 so did he copy me i don't know um uh so mine was the individual event the one mile run one mile road run specifically so like if there had been a relay event it wouldn't count mine was individual events um and so in that sense this rhymes with that uh short period fast turnaround and personal best times um though he did it in different races where i just did the one mile road run twice and so um what does it take to do that? Uh, endurance in terms of performance, which is a little bit different. Like, endu or endurance in terms of competition performance, perhaps more specific, like competition performance readiness, um, as opposed to like individual event endurance kind of thing. Um, and say, for at least for me, there's a strong mental component. So maybe there's for him as well. Um, so maybe he was copying me or maybe he was echoing me uh, kind of thing in my personal best times. I don't know. Um, just because I do something before somebody else doesn't mean they copied me kind of thing. Um, and mine was in one race and his was in two races. So I don't know. Or if he did it inspired by me. I don't know. Um, I was One note about him is a lot of people are like, where is he going to swim in college? I was like, if he chose an undergraduate institution... Like, I chose an undergraduate institution in terms of alma mater for my bachelor degree, so four-year university. I graduated from the University of Hawaii at Manoa in Honolulu, Hawaii. And if he were to choose an institution in NCAA Division I that would be analogous for him as the University of Hawaii at Manoa in Honolulu, Hawaii, was for me, Tannis Corley Leonardi, it would be, per my in-person spectating experience, writing and publishing, like I said, it would be the University of Southern California Trojans. Um, yeah. 
is it that, that that's that, that a lot of people want to see a certain outcome for him and we're just like well instead of a certain outcome i can provide him you know sometimes it's fun to fill out a questionnaire and see wh what people assign whether it's true or not or fits or not i know like the the me assessment for this person i made the english wikipedia article new article for um this uh swimmer my assessment would be university of southern california Trojans. so there we go um, whether he chooses that or not, whether he competes in college swimming or not, I don't know. Yes. And people can attend university at all different ages. I've had classmates who've had, you know, uh, 40 years old with a 20 year old son older than me as I was a 16 year old in my college class, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that is my take and it's a, it relates to the personal best times. Like sometimes endurance shows up in a different way and there's a different type of endurance needed for kind of a well-renowned school, but not necessarily a mainstream school. <laughs> um, and sometimes the ability to do stuff like this translates to uh, different uh, positive fostering growth environment. Kind of thing. So that's my take on the Thomas Hamlin 200 yard butterfly, one minute, 40.73 seconds, 9 December, 2022.